New tonight, after 23 years, a beloved grocery store employee worked his final shift at the Glenwood Village Harris Teeter tonight. When the community found out Tim McLeod was leaving, they decided to hold a fundraiser just to show him how much he's meant to them over the years, and they ended up giving him a life-changing send-off. WRAL's Keenan Willard has this story you'll only see on WRAL. Tim McLeod is hard at work. That's nothing new, though. Just about every day for more than two decades, he's made the commute from Wilson County to this Harris Teeter on Glenwood Avenue in Raleigh. Officially, he's bagging groceries, but to his customers, he's doing much more. He's just incredible. He's, he's legendary here. I don't think he even knows it. That's what makes it so beautiful that he does not have a clue how, what a great impact he's had within our community. Julie Cavanis calls Tim her part-time therapist. In years worth of moments in the checkout line, she's been able to talk to him about anything. They've even cried together, and he's watched her children grow up. Cavanis says many of her friends have the same kind of relationship with him. But two weeks ago, Tim told her something she wasn't prepared for. And he talked about an opportunity opening up in Wilson. And um, nine minutes from his house, I started crying. I was like, you can't leave me. After 23 years, Tim was transferring to a Harris Teeter closer to home. And so when he told me that, I'm like, how, how do I help him? Cavanis decided on a fundraiser. She launched a page on GoFundMe without telling Tim with the goal of raising $1,000. The site hit that goal in under an hour. I knew we had a fan club and we all talk about Tim and how kind he is. I don't think I had any clue how big his fan club is. So then we hit five. Then my mom's texting me like every hour, what's it up to now, you know? And then we hit 10 and I'm like, oh, wow. But the night of Tim's last shift, the GoFundMe had raised more than $22,000. Tim still had no idea. On Tuesday night, Cavanis went shopping during his final day of work and asked Tim to walk her out one last time. This is what was waiting for him. Hundreds of people cheering Tim on with signs and balloons. He was overcome with emotion. And then the big reveal. The goal was a thousand. <laughs> right? We got 22 and up. We're so happy. As the crowd said their goodbyes, we asked him what this final gift will mean to him. I mean, it, it'll help me a whole lot. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm blessed with it, you know. Keenan Willard, WRL News. Oh, wow. What a heartwarming story that is. It's just so lovely. I got to tell you, this was my Harris Teeter in, when I uh -huh. lived in this neighborhood. And Tim was just the kindest. I mean, mm -hmm. he just greeted you with a smile. And yeah. I think that's what a lot of people in this community are going to miss. That's so beautiful that they did that for him. It was clear to see. Yeah. Congratulations, Tim. Good luck. <laughs>